Hello, welcome to my channel. Now let's talk about the nice problems in chapter two. In this chapter, it tells us a picture, the position with the time t, and then it leads us to find its instantaneous velocity and average velocity at this time period. First one, it leads us to find what it is instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity. When we want to find the instantaneous velocity on the xt graph, we see the instantaneous velocity is a tangent line on the xt graph, right? So first one, the xt graph, we need to draw a picture. So the instantaneous velocity for the t equals to 10, so t equals to 10 this point. Agree? Here. So we draw a tangent line, it looks like this one. Just this line. So then we can find the instantaneous velocity is at t equal to 10, and then we can say, uh, we can say in the 50 seconds, it is around, uh, so we can agree, 14 meters in this uh, 50 seconds. So this tangent line, use this one, this length divided by this one, is around 0 0.28 meter per second square. Oh, meter per second. And then when we want to find the instantaneous velocity at t equal to 30, so 30 is this one. Agree? Yeah, then we need to draw the tangent line at there. So then it should be, oh sorry, it should be this one. This one, agree? Yes. Then when we want to find it, we find the slopes. So this line rises 25 meters in the uh, between 17, 17, so there are 17 seconds to the 37. So there is a 37. We can see this one 37. And then draw this line, it comes from there. Right? So the, this line divided by this part. Then, so we can see there we can consider it as a 70. 17 and there this one we considered as uh, 37 seconds and it arises just uh, 25 meters in this uh, from 17 seconds to 37 seconds it's around 20 seconds so we can estimate it is around 1.2 meter per second so when we consider its tenders velocity its tenders velocity we just uh, draw the tangent line on this point. The next one is find the average velocity. So at the time period, t equal to t equal to 0 to 5 seconds. So there, this is 5, right? Agree? 5. And also between the 25 there to the 30 there. Agree? So then the third one, we, we find when the t equal to zero, when the t equal to zero, the position is zero. When t equal to five, it is around 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters. So then we can estimate the average velocity is the displacement divided by time taking, 0 0.3 meter per second. And the second one, we want to find the uh, average velocity between 25 25 to 30, so we can estimate at 25, it's around 8, 8 meters, and at 30, it is around 16 meters, and then we can find the average velocity, x2 minus x1 divided by time taking, this is 1.6 meter per second. The next one is about the average velocity from the 40 to 50. There, so at the 40, it is around 20 meters, at the 50, it's 10 meters. So when we draw it, and then we find it is the displacement divided by time taking. So this one, we must keep this negative side. The negative side tells us the direction for this average velocity. That's all. Thank you.